what is up guys in today's video we have another episode of the unranked to unreal series in fortnite zero build in these games i'm still in diamond we're getting very close to elite i think i should be able to get to unreal after the most recent update i've kind of been playing a few games a week that way as i release the videos they're still on the current patch we have two games in this video i think both are quite good the first one is a little more uneventful so it will be edited down a bit but the second game uh, I'm just going to post the entirety of it, I think, because I think it was a good game and uh, a pretty eventful game because the early game didn't really go my way at all. So we were kind of trying to regain from that uh, throughout the duration of the match. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like some more, comment down below what you thought of the games, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If he overchases. He's playing somewhat smart. This should be a death. I feel like I have no sprint again. I want to just run through the doors. He's like constantly trying to get right shoulder peek and then like hopefully hit a hard shot with this gatekeeper shotgun. Like it can be a bailout. But like the lack of sprint and him playing that like okay-ish makes it hard. He's playing more passive than he needs to though, I feel like. I don't know what... my shotgun ammo is like if it has ammo or not i was tempted to like flowberry empm if you got in the car but i wasn't sure if my shotgun yeah didn't think my shotgun was loaded at least Wish I had sprint. Jeez. I think that player played that very bad. I think if he plays more like aggressive after he sniped me he would have just like killed me for free what did i have like 40 hp there oh no somebody on the other side of this and i have no sprint He's in that court. I think there's barrels in here, but that first player may have got them. I'm gonna try to go towards this bunker also like i really want to get the bunker first because i don't like how much loot i have i want more shockwaves nice is trolling. I 
I hear like wind, bro. I thought it was someone landing. I think the same zone as last game. Except islands in play. I don't really want to deal with island. Footsteps here. The guy from class earlier. Oh. They're fighting. I saw two steps of footsteps, but I thought it was a hired AI. Oh, I'm not even trolling. You're like in a bush sniping at somebody as soon as you shoot you want to move Because they can see where you shot from and if you have 4x with sniper gun it will sometimes show through the bush I don't want this nonsense on my screen telling me the storm is shrinking like right where I needed to look I kind of don't even want to be involved in this fight someone bunkered over there I don't even know where I just got shot from He probably saw me peek. I should have shot. I wasn't happy with the shot though. I think he's trying to grief my car. Someone else just pulled up in a G wagon behind him though. So the more I can kind of like bait him into like wasting his time being concerned about me, like it might screw him over and then we can like third party that maybe if they actually like heavy fight. Also down to just leave. I wish this G-Wagon was here. I'm gonna try to check the one I got last game. Like not a lot of kills this game, but I feel like there hasn't been like much opportunity to get them. It's just been like a bunch of like kind of like sniper stalemates that aren't going anywhere. There might be somebody in this bush. What shots over there? Oh, this has no gas. I was, I was gonna say like the way this was parked made me think that someone was like baiting it kind of. I didn't try to scoop this car though. There might be somebody in this house that tries to defend it. I don't know. I would like to kind of third party that, but I don't see what the, where they are. I just see shots. I've had no visual audio or anything from that house as well, so maybe there wasn't somebody hitting this. Alright, let's go. Autobots roll out. Somebody in front of me has a scanner AI. There's also visual audio footsteps behind me. This might be a free kill if I can hit it. I'm terrible. Somebody just shot a shotgun over there. The bubble down as well. Hangman. GG. That guy's a good player. 
We got shockwaves back. I used so much more than I wanted there. I've like, been messing up my shockwaves so much today. Fortnite, though. Third party. I figured if they're fighting in a bubble, that it would be a fight where someone takes a decent amount of damage. And that the bubble would be about to be on cooldown. I was hoping I'd just walk up the bubble and drop and then I could AR him, but he threw a new bubble. I wanted to just get on him with the shockwave rather than like running up and giving him like time to like get ready to like shotgun me. Because like bubble fighting, if the other person is like good at it, it can be hard to do something to them sometimes. Like if they're good at like jumping in and out of it and like timing their shots well. Right now, where I am kind of stinks. But, like, when zone closes and I don't have to worry about this and I can kind of look towards that for free, that would be nice. But I want to wait until, like, storm closes before I just, like, start looking at that over there and then having my entire back to this open area, you know? And people can be in storm, but... I didn't do very much damage to him. I don't even know where he went. I would have liked to have like beamed him enough to the point where it's just like a free kill, you know? I can look back towards this bunker. There's been like consistent shots going on over here. Feels bad. I kind of wish I had dashes. I want... Ah, uh, we'll just leave. It, the, with how he was shooting, I think he had someone down there in a really bad spot. Like, on the edge of that cliff. If I had dashes and just could quickly dash into that and then maybe snipe the person that he was beaming, that'd be great. But... I feel like by the time I get there, and then get back, like, zone's already coming. Maybe I could have done it. I don't know. I, I just... I didn't want to get there and then immediately have to leave because of zone, you know? But I probably did have enough time to, like, get there, take a snipe or two, and then also, like, get back to my car. I feel like I have this side of the map mostly alone, so I just want to, like, let those people ahead of me go. And then look back and hold anybody that's behind me. And we could just keep playing edge and have like our edge like clear. This in zone. I think there's somebody in this bunker. I'm dead. I don't know where that shockwave came from. Maybe it was him throwing it. That was bad. I thought for sure I would get a free kill on him because the way I was driving, I could see this edge of the bunker right here. So I knew he had to be either not in here at all or standing right here. So I want to just like run up and fight that. But like the first shotgun shot didn't go my way. Luckily cars are OP. I think that thing I just sniped out was a hired AI. If I could maybe... I was going to say I could maybe shockwave that guy under me out of his bunker, but I guess it's not worth. I'm like somewhat tempted to take these bunkers and it's one bunker. Dang. I was considering dropping the mini for that because like, are these minis actually going to help me? At, at this point, I should have taken the bunker. I don't think at this point in the time, the game, I would have had time to get minis off. Like the fights are going to be just people hopping on each other. Oh shit. Good 
Good. Eye. That was bad. I thought he was pickaxing me through the car. When I hit him with the car and saw the damage numbers, I thought that's what that was. Maybe just like constant dash, I guess. I can't even see zone. This is going to be a very hard game to win. I can maybe get second. I would just like the ping zone, but it's like the struggle is real. But I think the best I can do here is second, honestly. I was hoping to just maybe snipe that green guy and then like guarantee second and then that's like GG's, you know? Like... Can I even get out of this water? Alright, GG's. Like, yeah, I don't... Not much I could do there, I feel like, but that is that is what it is. I shouldn't have got out of the car. I thought that, like, black superhero skin was pickaxing me through it. So, like, when they're doing that, the only thing you can do is maybe get out, shoot them, and hope they get out as well. But I, it was me hitting him with my car that caused him damage and then that was like the damage pop-up I saw. This is an odd situation, but I mean, at least we got second. I think I have a good drop, but if someone doesn't have the mantle, they might have better drop than me. And like with this chest, if you have like... Like you need a lot better of a drop to just get, get the gun and beam people. Like, if someone lands a second or two after you, they could still just, like, snag the gun. Someone's EMPing over here. I have no shield. I think he's above me. Move. Someone's just shooting the drones down. Kinda wish I'd taken that blue auto shotgun down there. Like the, my movement feels so weird because of the ping. But I think I'd rather have the auto. Please allow me to mantle. Thank you. The G-Bag in there. Dang, I did not want to be peeking there. This guy should get shot in the back by that other guy if he's still over there. Because this guy padding came from over there, I'm pretty sure. So he might not know that. Yeah. And now we can get to this roof. And then potentially third party them if they actually fight. But I don't think they're going to actually fight. I'm oh, GG's. That's Fortnite. You just get clickbaited by the idea that people might actually fight each other.
I guess the guy shooting him in the back hit like no shots. Come on, man. Thank you. Oh, this is so unlucky. That's the person that was DMRing me earlier. Like, he wrapped all the way around to, like, shoot me rather than fighting the guy that's in front of him. But now this game is, like, yeah, this is already looted. This game's probably chalked now. I got no car, no shield. And everybody there kind of just seemed like... Like, we were all just kind of waiting to third party, I feel like. Which, like, I understand. Like, I was doing the same thing, but... Rough to try to do anything in those situations. Like, <laughs> the best thing I could do there is just, like, hide. Probably. But that's not very fun. Okay. I was hoping this hadn't been looted. I'm gonna be greedy and get these barrels first. Or the chests first and hope I can get minis and then get the barrels afterwards and get full shield. Or like close to full shield. So if I get the barrels and find minis. Can't really do anything with it. This like gives me anxiety though. Radio tower spawned, but no one's got it yet. I think there's definitely still people over here, though, that are just kind of hanging out. Like how they were at Pleasant. Here's one guy. Oh, there's somebody in the house already. This is not what I wanted. Like, I didn't want to fight that because uh, there's somebody in the front. You see, he's pushing now. And, like, I can't get to my car. I was hoping he would overchase. With me, like, clearly trying not to fight. I'm gonna get sniped by a third party. I went like further than I, much further than I wanted on that shockwave. All my shocks there, but he was probably somewhat worth. Like I just needed loot. At least now I have a sniper, so I have a ranged weapon. Like no fight on the AR is rough.
But yeah, I was hoping when I shockwave through that wall to be like right on that Medusa because she didn't seem to be the greatest. Did she die? Medallion player over there. He just put the thing in the radio tower. I would assume he goes for this bunker afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably just going to 50-50 him in the bunker because I want the medallion. I feel like so... There we go. I just feel like so immobile without shocks or the medallion or like, uh, what's it called? A sight on my R. Like imagine how much easier that fight is if I have a sight on my R, you know? I just felt so limited. But if he just like ran right down into the bunker, I would have just 50 50 him because I felt like that's like a better fight than what I'm going to get anyways without like any sort of movement or like ranged like follow up. But now we're chilling because I have the dashes, which is like solid mobility. And we will have a sight on the AR, which is just going to make my life a lot better. Still no shocks, but we have bunkers, which is nice. And like. Right now, once you get to like the higher ranks, it kind of becomes like a question of like, should I run bunkers or shocks? Um, and that decision is a lot easier if you have the dash medallion because I have mobility without consuming an inventory slot, which is nice. I'm going to take the big. I know there was a gold sniper down there as well. I don't care that much about sniper rarity. I just wanted to like quickly get in and out of the bunker. Like, the only difference on sniper rarity is, like, a few damage on body shots. But it doesn't really change how I'm going to play at all. Like, I don't know exactly what the damage difference is. Let's say it's, like, 120 instead of 115. If I 115 somebody, I'm going to play the same way as if I 120 them, you know? Like, if I want to push off it, like, that 5 damage isn't going to change my opinion. We did not get the forecast tower though. And I can still hold two more bunkers. Some green stuff over here. I doubt it's bunkers though. I might just kind of hang out in this area. And see what zone's going to do. If I had forecast. Oh nice. We got more bunkers. If I had forecast, I'd just go where zone is. Dang. I was hoping she'd give me a big. It's stressful going into these buildings in like ranked zero build though or like zero build cups because you never know if someone's riding but we'll just chill the 30 seconds here and see what zone is gonna do hey he's got an emote They are true Fortnite players. They can't chill for a few seconds without spamming emote. People will know I'm here somewhat because we have the dash medallion, but like one medallion, the circle is so big that it's really not the big of a deal. And then the only other medallion that's in play is Zeus. No one got the Hades one. No one got Ares. Oh, it's going to be even longer to see what zone is. Someone's still spectating me, too. I wonder if that is the guy that used the lightning, if he's salty. He might just be searching for another game in the queue, be like forever long.
queues have started to get somewhat bad. Like, it's not terrible. I think my queue for this game was, like, almost four minutes. Which is, like, not great, but I, and it's not, like, terrible either. Like, normally pubs for me is, like, one to two minutes anyway, so it's not, like, a huge difference. These bunkers and pubs? No. The ranked, yes. I'm not reading chat as much. When I had a Victory Rail game out, would you play it? What do you mean? We love Victory Rails. I know you mean virtual reality. I never really got the appeal of virtuality. I feel like it's overhyped. <sighs> Needs siphon to have incentive to play? Yeah, I mean, if I didn't make videos, I would not be playing. Thanks. This zone really didn't change much for me. Like, it's not like it. If, like, if it went like more over here, then. We would, you know, we'd go over there, but it's still just kind of like mostly shrunk towards the center. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell where it's going to go next. This player is went over there, though, from Island. I wonder if they have forecast and know that it's going to be over there. Because I didn't see what the other radio tower was this game. The person behind that rock. They have dashes as well. No sprint. That's tragic, man. He's probably done now. Let me go see if the G-Wagon spawned here. Did not. Zone did go north. Someone's gliding over here? I'm like always so confused with the glider visual audio though. Like yeah. He's like all the way over here. But I was gonna say that person gliding away from island might be weak. So like it could be a free kill. But I just have zero understanding of how to predict where they are based off visual audio on gliders. And yeah, much just goes on. It has a pop tire, so it's like so hard to control. The guy in this bush. Dang, this car is so hard to control, man. I think there's somebody camping over here because there's a G wagon. Oh, they died. Someone just got out of a car over here? Or you swapped seats? We know there's somebody in that bush. Yeah, he's in that car in another seat because it won't let me ping the car. And there was a player in that bush next to him as well. So like something might go down over there. That tree kind of blocks my view of it though.
Oh no, that was the NPC. That's where like thermal is kind of bad. I wanted to kill the AI so the grenades fall on the bunker. What is going down? That player's in diamond. I do not like this zone. Like zones that play out around these like railroad bridges, I feel like are odd. Dang. I have to reload sniper. But I just want to get ahead here and bunk, but like... Uh, this guy in this bush. The guy using lightning just like griefs bunkers too easily. I wanted to force him out. Oh, it's because it went bigger. Never mind. If you like throw your bunker at a wall that they're sharing, the tires at your bunker places will force them out. So I wanted to like knock him out of his bunker over to there with my tires. But because mine placed on two levels like this, we couldn't really do that. This guy might be weak. Yeah, just like winging high like that in game is such a desperation play. I think this car is weak enough that it's not worth using. I just, oh man. I wanted to see if he had more bunkers, but. It's hard to. It's gonna ping zone. Keep late rotating here with my dashes. I want my dashes to come back. Six opponents remain. Dang, I wanted that free kill. I'm trying to go behind this car somewhat. I was going to say that car can like get attention. That is not at all where I wanted that bunker to go. I want to just go right in front of me. They might fight. There was a guy on the top of that hill that that car just drove up on somewhat. I wanted to just like play the low ground over there and then like jump up on them if they fought, which I guess I can kind of do from here, but I feel more exposed. My back would be to like that zone that I just cleared. Like I came from, so I know it's clear. Still have two bunkers. Still just want to go behind that car. Like, I feel like he's going to draw the most attention. Thing. I was hoping this guy would get attacked by the other player. This is not what I intended to have happen. I was hoping that if I dashed and made a new bunker that this lady would push that Miles Morales and they'd fight and then I could third party it. If 
GG's. Dude, the dashes were so clutch there. That was risky to just go into her bubble and fight her. But like... I lost a game earlier this season because I just was like... Hoping the other two people would fight and they just never would. And like it had been two zones and like two opportunities I felt like for those players to fight. And they just didn't fight so I didn't think they would. So I figured like... My best chance to win that would just be to like 50-50 her in the bubble while she's like somewhat isolated. And the dashes were so incredibly helpful. It's OP. Also, that game was so much easier to for me than anyone else because I didn't use my utility when other people did. Like, because I had the G-Wagon. Like, here, we can go into replay mode. But because I have this car and an edge of zone, I can play somewhat without using my utility in a zone where, like, so many people are. Thank you for the Prime Bungle, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy your sub badge emotes and ad free viewing, courtesy of Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. But, uh, like, this person in the car is fine. The bushes, like, in a zone like this, sometimes you'll have to use your bunkers. It is what it is. But you're not going to win the game in this zone anyways. I don't know how many people are left alive. There's 16 people up. The game is not ending here. So, like... All I kind of want to do here is hang out and not use my utility because I'm going to need it later on. If I just use all my bunkers here, I'm not going to have any for endgame, you know? In a point where we can actually win the game. And then, like, lots of people here, not only are they not going to win the game off this zone, but also, like, their bunkers get griefed by lightning, which is just, like, unfortunate. But the new zone opens up. I tried to just get deep into this new zone before anybody else. To be, again, somewhat isolated so I can keep, like, conserving utility. It was kind of rough, and then this guy's here. And then, uh, hold on. Go back a little bit. If you throw your bunker at where they are, like, the tires in your front of your bunker can force them out. So I wanted to, like, throw mine on this wall in hopes he was standing on it, and then my tires would, like, knock him out. But he wasn't even in the bunker, and my bunker placed his two levels high. I think he got, like, full pieced by the car, though. Like, I think he just, like, couldn't move. That's unfortunate. Look at where everyone is. This is what I said. I went to like an isolated side. And so I don't really have to fight on this zone. We fought one person. But we can just kind of hang out and conserve utility. And heals and stuff. While everyone else is... Can I make this bigger? Everyone else is just on this side of zone fighting each other. Because I like rotated into that new area first. I shouldn't have been at the top there like that, though. That was kind of tough. Like, I could have easily been sniped. But yeah, right here, I just wanted to, like, dash ahead and then bunker and try to hold people. But, like, the thing you have to worry about when you do that is people jumping on you. Which is like something I was thinking about. I just couldn't talk about it in the moment. But like once you get deep this late into the game and, and like you're the only one with utility or the only one with a bunker, like some people are going to be like, well, I'm screwed here. I guess I just got to hop on that guy. You know, like it makes sense. And I think that's what happens to me here. We kill that guy. I miss the snipe on this Miles Morales. I see the other player up here. And that's why when he pushes me, I'm like, I don't need to fight and like, tie my life to this bunker when this guy's shockwaving on me and there's another player here. I could just dash away, place another bunker, and then hopefully this player will rotate into the miles and then I can third party up to my new bunker. But that just didn't happen. Like they chose to not fight or she didn't get good timing, whatever. But like they end up not fighting, you know? This is why I said it was like bad because now I have no bunkers like they're not fighting i did not think i was gonna win this game luckily this lady was weak i didn't realize she was weak but this was another time where i thought the miles would maybe get in her car or something but he chose to just sit there like once this happened i'm like nobody in this game is doing anything but me like we're just all kind of like waiting on each other to do something and this lady has a bubble and get in there be isolated Immediately third parties, but luckily the car is here. The car isn't here. We're dead. And then my chat was roasting him for not getting out, but like 
he was probably panicking in that moment and like spam pressing the button like so many people mess up like getting out of the cars in situations like that because they like you have to hold the button to exit you know just that little timing when they're panicking in game can like throw them off but even if he had gotten out like i got so much damage there i think my shotgun is loaded still i have dashes like i once i didn't take damage third partying that lady i thought for sure i would win that game